What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So, today's video, we're gonna go pick up Nick's new truck. As long as everything's good, we're gonna go check it out. Here, it's all the way in Escondido. So it's probably an hour from my house. Um, so, as you guys know, Goldilocks is officially sold. Not gone, but it's sold. It's still here, it's sitting in that garage, but it's gone. So we're gonna get in the car now and go ahead to um, Escondido. Go check this thing out. Okay, well, all, um, What's wrong? You want your iPad? Okay, one sec, guys. Look, I'm gonna go get your iPad. All I have to say, guys, is wow. Talk about a scam. We almost literally got scammed. So, um, after I got our iPad real quick, I'm gonna show you the text messages and what this guy told us, how clean the truck was, no accidents. This is why I personally hate buying you stuff. I'm not saying everybody out there that's selling stuff uh, is a, a scammer, obviously, but um, the situations that we run in um, is, is kind of ridiculous. And let me, I'll, I'll explain it. Here you go, baby. And so we pretty much go look at this truck. So the text messages, I'll show you the text messages that this guy has sent Nick. Where is Nick? Nick's over there. Where, how you doing there, partner? Where's that? Michelle, look, we're going to show some text messages. So he's on, he's on the phone, but so the guy, I so I told Nick, I'm not driving all the way to Escondido to go look at this thing. Like, tell the guy send you some photos, you know, make sure it's clean title, make sure there's no accidents, make sure nothing's been repainted, you know, stuff like that. Hi um, everyone. Hi everyone. Hi everyone. Um, so I said, or the guy sends Nick's, no accidents, clean title, everything's awesome, you know, beautiful. Put a thumbs up, yeah, and the pictures. Man, when I say pictures don't do justice, these pictures, they don't. These pictures, it, it may, the truck looked like it was like flawless in these pictures. And I will show you, I'll put the link here. Um, I'm sure he's gonna take it down. So first thing we get there and right away, I can see this, almost the whole truck's been repainted. Crack windshield, I mean, this thing was just beat up. Nick stressed, had to get food. Where's your text? Let me pull up your text message. So let me show you what this guy uh, said to Nick when we pulled up. And we pull up and right away, the whole, like, it, it was, this truck was so bad in real life. Like, I don't, I'm, this, this car. I forgot to ask you before I leave. Clean Carfax, no accidents, damage, etc. Yep, clean Carfax, no accidents, no damage, or clean title. Okay, here, put, put your, let me hide his number real quick, and I'll show you guys his number. No, I, I'll tell you what his shop name is. <laughs> so, um, forgot to ask, you guys can see right there. Uh, where is it? Right there, no accident, yes, clean, you have the title. Okay, he's picking me up, probably up there. Yes, sir, we have my shop. Okay, yada, yada. We come out, right? So, you have to come out. Yeah, well, we didn't have to come out. But like I said, as soon as we pull up, you could tell almost the whole side. I think only the back door was not repainted. The whole thing was repainted. So and the guy's like completely clueless. Like, what do you mean repaint? No, like me? No, uh, of course not. So then I start walking around the truck over here. Mind yourself, it's a dually. I come to this side of the hips. And literally, this whole side has been repainted. And it looks like somebody has like taken a paintbrush no joke, and has like, I was so mad, I forgot to record any of this for you guys, that's how pissed I was, but it looked like, like he, he painted it or something, like with a paintbrush, then come to find out it is like the most basic, basic model, then, here's the worst part about it. Put a lot of money in the interior. Yeah, here, here's the kicker, so, Nick, you know, he starts, like, oh, oh, first of all, he's got to advertise as a 15, I opened the hood and the sticker says the 14. So it's not even a 15 truck. It's just 13. Made in 13. Well, no, no. The door said 11 no, of 13. Yeah, that's what it's built. But look under the hood. Under the hood said 2014. I told the guy, you don't even know what year your truck is, dude. And he's like, oh, it's, it's not a 15. Uh -uh. No, it's not a 15, man. What do you know? It's not an accident. No paint. So that's when now, you know, we're like, okay, this guy is, is fishy. You know, I told him, like, well, bring a Carfax up. Pulls a Carfax up. Oh, the truck has had, has had, I'm not sure. According to the dash, says 170,000 miles. Nick pulls up the Carfax. It says, how many accidents? Two accidents. Two accidents. Three owners. Three owners. He said he was the second owner. He bought it from the original owner. Yeah, he bought it from the original owner. 
Well, no, but you notice how at the end he changes story. Mm -hmm. So at the end he goes, no, because this is what we found out when, uh, sorry, I got some coming out, but, um, uh, come to find out, we pulled the Carfax and it was at Carl Berger. When it was at Carl Berger, it had 251,000 miles on it, and that was in 2020? 2020. That was in 2020, two years ago. This guy's advertising at 1,570,000 miles. He's now, he says, oh, what? give me the VIN number. I'm going to call Carl Berger and sue him. And I said, wait a minute, you said you bought it from an owner, one owner, you know? So they, the guy was so full of shit. And then come to find out he magically owns a smog shop. <laughs> and uh, because it was weird, the truck had a DPF back kit past smog. I'm like, oh, all right, you know, EGR. Like yeah, EGR was, you know, missing and everything. It was something wrong, broken and stuff. So I'm like, all right. Pretty much, guys, be aware. There's scammers out there. This guy was full of shit. I mean, oh, miles old. Goldilocks is gone. Yeah, that's the unfortunate part for him where Goldilocks it's on its way out. is gone. Yeah, that's already been paid for. It's out of here. So Nick's kind of screwed because I, I can't drive it. Technically, it's it's already done. It's paid for. He can't drive it. Um, and we're leaving to the desert. I'm loading up both of these cars. We're taking both. Um, so what are you going to do about that? I didn't think about My that. Pork chops. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to have anybody out there want to loan Nick a dually? Dually Comment down below. Nick needs Nick needs a dually thirty five hundred guys. Um, so yeah, we're huh? It doesn't have to be a dually, but I told Nick get a dually. They're nice. They're nice and stable. What are you barking at? Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, the, dude, the, the truck guys, it was just in the worst condition I have ever seen it. The what? The wheel well. Where's the wheel? Oh, I took those off. Easier to work on. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. He keeps all his. Work the car, work the car yeah, exactly. He keeps all of his wheel wells. You see the whole motor. Uh, out. So basically, yeah. Like when you walk up to it, and you look, like there was no wheel well. This side, that side, nothing. Because well, they're easier to work on. And I go, what do you like? The, everything, everything about this guy was so wrong. Like he was so full of it. It was, it was incredible how. How good some people can lie. It's pretty amazing, you know? That car is now off the market. Yeah, oh, yeah, we told him, you better take this off, dude. So that's, you know, and it's just, it's it's really, be careful, guys. Run a Carfax, you know, look at the car. And, and if some of you guys. Don't trust their wording. Okay. Yeah, don't ever trust their wording. If some of you guys, I'm sure, going to ask them, how can he tell it's painted? Well, I, I've bought and sold so many cars, but you usually you can see. see... The buggy in the hood? Oh, yeah, yeah, here you go. Here's a perfect note. Buggies. Here's a perfect example of what a repainted car is going to look like. So look at this car here. This is paint. See this? All this is paint. Now don't mind. Forget the carbon fiber. Just picture, you know, it so black. Like look, yeah. Look how shiny. See the shine of this. Look at this. Texture. Yeah. Don't 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 see the bubble. That's carbon fiber. Don't worry about that. But look at that. Okay. Now this truck looked like this. This is powder coat. Look at this. You see how it's like, uh, oh wait, I need like a, I need a light. Yeah, where's the, where's the reflection? Here we go, here we go. I can't, I can't really see it. So this is like, give me a light, grab a light. This is very, cause this is powder coat. This is very like orange, orange peely, I guess. Let me see, I wanna show them this. Yeah, here you go, here you go, right here. Look at, see the light bulb right there? All right, look at that, look at this. Look at even right here. Look at even right there. So you see that how it's like an orange peel? What, what is it? Look, get off there. Get. <laughs> I know, guys, I don't have really no paint. But, you know, I like it clean. But see that? Look at that. So that's what this whole entire truck look like. And another clue you can do is if you feel the edges. So if you feel the edges like on my truck or any other truck, for an example, everything is, 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 is smooth. It's sleek. This guy, when you feel the hood, everything was like rough. Like there was so much like overspray or, or texture. Yeah, you open the door jam, it just looked horrible. Oh, yeah, I don't know how you do this, but the back side. Yeah, the back. He well, he said he loaded quads. He must have smashed the quad. It was like boom, pushed he in. Loaded quads in the trailer. In here, yeah. His stories kept changing. I can't even keep up with his lies. I was he so confused. He sold it because the fifth wheel was gone. And there was no only fifth wheel. Yeah, he has an enclosed trailer. Yeah, all of a sudden it was an enclosed. The, I don't even believe the guy's name. Um, so it was just the biggest scam, biggest liar. I'm gonna. It's gonna be posted, obviously, for you guys. You guys saw the truck, diesel. 
Get in there. Diesel, get back in there. So um, just beware, guys, if, in case he puts it back on the market. Um, I'm going to put this out there for you guys. Just beware because it is a scam. It doesn't have 170,000 miles. It's got 250, well, 250,000 miles was two years ago. So who knows? It can have three. Huh? January 2020, it was reported at 252,000 miles. Yeah, January 2020. Two years. Two years ago, it was reported 251,000 miles. So, so now it's probably over 300, uh, 310, 320. Who knows? Just be aware. Be, care, be careful, guys, because there are scammers out there. So, uh, like I said, unfortunately for Nick, he's got no truck. So, uh, well. No truck, more problems. Yeah, no truck. So now I got to load the Tatum car up, and I got to load my car up. So stay tuned for the desert vlog, too. We're getting ready to head out for Thanksgiving. Hey, what's up, partner? How you doing? All right, well, boys. It has been rough. So, poor Nick, we've been looking. It has looking. been poop. We, no, <laughs> that. We have been looking at every single Ram 3500 dually that's been for sale. And, well, there's nothing decent available. Like, these guys have, like, 2020s with, like, 130,000 miles. Like, where are you guys going? I want to know. So, uh, pretty much, um, pretty much, we're just gonna continue to look. We're just gonna continue to work. Not work. Look. Not work. Look. Yeah, we're gonna continue yeah. to uh, look we're at continue trucks. Continue to work and look at trucks. And um. And um. Technology doesn't have its place, even here. And hopefully we get lucky, and he and finds on. Would you be quiet? I'm driving. Would you be this? quiet? <laughs> so, um. <laughs> That's it, guys. This trip, I don't know what Nick is going to use for a truck, but stay tuned to find out. So that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you want to learn how to take care of your son, put him in a headlock where he can't talk or do anything. So hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace. Bye. Yeah.